Hey guys, welcome back to episode 13 of Strive to Survive. And as you can see, uh, we're starting this episode in our house, and it's dark out. Uh, we're going to do a couple things this episode. Uh, and I think we're going to take a break from going underground and, you know, taking care of that ravine. Uh, we can always come back to that, so I just don't want to spend, you know, four or five episodes down there. Uh, well, we need to get stuff done here at the house, too. Um, I've got our gold smelting that we collected. I've got this iron smelting. Uh, so one of the first things that we're going to do is create ourselves some better armor. And then I think what we're going to work on is a storage area. Because as you can see, our chests are just getting completely cluttered. There's tons of stuff in here and it's just not working out this little storage area that we got going on so I've got some plans uh, for a storage area and it's gonna go under the house but we're not gonna put a staircase in the house to get to it we're gonna put a staircase uh, along the right side of the house so it'll actually be adjacent to this wall right here so that's what we're gonna work on this episode uh, but first things first let's craft some armor so we've already got a chest piece Let's get ourselves some boots. So now we've got some iron boots. Uh, we'll get ourselves a helmet. There we go. And I think we'll hang off on the, hold off on the leggings until our leather ones, which have served us so well, uh, eventually break. So now we're pretty decked out. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a quick nap. And once it's morning, we'll go ahead and get started on the staircase. Now we could just do a ladder similar to what we have here and kind of just put it in this corner and go below, but I'd like to do something a little bit cool here and, and put a staircase right over here. So what we'll end up doing is we'll take some more of these spruce logs that I've gathered off camera and we're gonna go ahead and we'll make it too wide, I think, like that. And we'll jump up here. There we go. And it'll be the length of the house. And one more high. There we go. And we'll go ahead and fill this in using our cobble here. And ideally, we'd, we'd like to go in so it kind of matches the rest of the house, but that's really not going to be a possibility. I guess if we... Let's take a quick look here. Because I want this to be double doors here, so... We'll dig this down. Have that like that. And this will be the start of the staircase going down. I think we're going to need a shovel for this, but I'll grab that in a minute. So if we do this, maybe we could put, maybe we could put this wood out one more. Like this. And then have this sunken in one. Let's see how that would look. Like that. Yeah, I think that'll work out a little bit nicer. We'll replace that with dirt here. Which I know we have some. Like that. Yeah, that way it's kind of uniform with the rest of the house there. Because this will be the wall then. And we'll replace that piece. So this will be a wall here, or I'm sorry, this will be two doors here. This will be a wall back here. This will be a wall right there. So maybe instead of having double doors, we'll just go with a single. Yeah, that'll look nice because then it's uniform. And that's kind of what we're going for here is a uniform look. So let's bring that up and we'll bring this tree up a couple more yeah there we go 
That's perfect. Alright, so that'll be the start of these stairs. And we'll have to bring this one out too, so the back um, looks the same way. There we go. We'll gather all those up. We'll go up. One more. There we go. And on the back here, same thing. We want it to look uniform to the rest of the house. So we'll just come straight across there. This will have to be replaced because you'll actually see this from the outside. And we'll put a block there as well. And like that. So let me grab a shovel real quick. That way we're not digging out all this dirt by hand. And I'm going to start using a lot more iron tools now. Uh, just because they last longer and we have the the iron to make them now uh, a couple episodes ago we were pretty short on iron so that's why we weren't using it to make things like shovels and axes but as you can see now I'm using it for pretty much everything that'll come up and that will come up like that so we'll have our doorway here our little entrance and this will start going down into the basement of the house and what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go ahead and clear away a lot of this dirt off camera and then we'll come back we'll put in the staircase here and uh, start our little storage room so I'll be right back alright guys we're back I finally managed to dig that out and as you can see we've gone down pretty far because I want to be able to have multiple chests um, stacked up without hitting the roof now this is just the area for the staircase um, the actual storage room is going to be under the house which is over here so what we're going to do here is we're going to take some of this cobble that we've gathered and we're going to fill in these walls um, and as you can see we've got so much cobble and dirt out of this that we actually can't pick up most of what's sitting on the ground right now so this is actually a good way to get rid of some of that there we go that's that wall done this is the back wall and as you can see we're picking up all this dirt there we go and the front wall here there we go so now we've got our walls in place for this and we just need to get out of here real quick and actually we don't really even need to do that we can just take some of this wood build a crafting bench down here and yeah we don't need that trap door right now we do need the crafting bench put it over in this corner and we're going to make ourselves some stairs uh, with the cobble that we have. And 20 might not end up being enough, but it's a good start. And we've just got way too much stuff on us right here. So, so we'll actually start up here, and I think what we want to do is we'll come one out for the door. So we'll have that. That'll be like our landing there. And then we'll have the stairs start right there. So we'll have these come down like this. And we can even have like a landing here, maybe. see how do we want to do this yeah we'll have a landing right here and we've got three we need four so but you can get the general idea of what we're gonna do here so that'll look like that and then this will be the last layer right there but let's throw up some torches real quick because it's pretty dark 
uh, down in here now. And we'll go ahead and start knocking down this wall. So this will actually be the storage room. And this will be too, but this is going to be where most of the storage room is, is right here. So that's going to be our stairway down into here. And what we could do, um, we could either fill this in, or we could even leave it open like this, maybe even put some upside down stairs here, and put uh, some more storage under there. So we'll decide that later. Right now, um, I think we're going to head upstairs, take a quick nap, and then, you know, build during the day. So, because we're still kind of unprotected out there. There's a lot of things that could go wrong down in that hole. So, we won't chance it. We'll just take a quick nap and build during the day. And grab some more cobble not from that chest this chest and we said we need one more slab that's a furnace that's not going to get us anything that we need but they come in groups of six so we have to build six and let's head back down there real quick so you get the basic idea of what this is going to look like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out all underneath the house here. So while I do that, uh, I'm going to let you guys go for a second. And then I'll just meet you back once we have all that dug out. See you in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. And that took quite a bit of time to hollow that out. But now you can see the basic uh, structure that this is going to be. Um, the cobble that you can see is actually the walls of the house so that's why we stopped there uh, this is the floor from the floor above so we're gonna fill in these walls with cobble just go around doing that um, and well we grab some more of that we'll, we'll do all that then we're going to have to come up with a floor for in here. And as you can see, I ended up closing off underneath these stairs and I dropped a chest. That's the cobble that we gathered from over here, along with what I'm carrying and all that dirt as well. Um, but I'm going to leave this area for storage as well. So we'll have this big room and that. But let me fill in these walls real quick and I'll meet you guys back here. Alright guys, we're back and as you can see, uh, the walls are all finished now and the floor I decided to do most of it in oak. I'm going to leave this section um, just in stone because I think it's a nice little transition. Uh, maybe we'll have like uh, something interesting over here, maybe like an anvil or something like that, and we'll make this little work area. But this is going to be where the storage area is. So, but as you can see, it's starting to get dark already. So let's do as much more of this as we can. We need to get some birch wood to finish this up. Or I'm, I'm sorry, not birch, just spruce. So, we've got plenty of spruce here. And we're going to just go ahead and do this. Not like that, but like this. So, the doorway will be here. So we'll actually come across like that. And that'll be our nice little cellar there. We'll have to get up a little bit do this. There we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll do one layer that's just birch wood like this and the next layer we'll put some nice windows in. And put this torch back up. Kind of temporary lighting right now. And that's all the way down there, so we'll come back and get that later. Uh, we won't have any on the front here. We'll just have that door. But here, we'll have some in the back. And then this layer will be 
closed off like that. So, and we want to put some windows here. So let me figure out exactly where we want to put these. We want to have one kind of two there, two there. So yeah, that'll work. Let's seal that. Actually, we probably could have a window right there as well, but let's just for now seal it off. Oops, we don't want that one there. We're going to put our window there. And we'll have to grab some glass. And then we'll have to extend our roof a little bit as well. But I think what we'll do for the roof is we'll just use a flat roof there out of some cobble. So let's jump down real quick. We'll head back inside. Make some of the stuff we're going to need. And that should be enough to do our roof. Do we have any glass? We do have some glass. But we're not going to use it like that. We're going to use the uh, actual glass panes. So we'll need six of these. And let's drop some of this other stuff off. And we'll need some wood for a door. That's perfect. So let's make our door. And let's make our panes. So now we have our door, we have our roof, and we have our window panes. So let's go ahead and sleep real quick, and we'll finish this off. And I'd like to get another bed for up here to kind of make this room a little bit more symmetrical, but just been so busy doing everything else it's been kind of hard to get to that so let's put our door and those are sunk in I think I want to do this one sunk in as well like that yeah I like the way that looks so and maybe we'll put a railing along here uh, we'll see but let's grab that little piece there and let's get up here and finish these windows and the roof. Oh, I see you, skeleton. I don't want to really waste my arrows on this guy, so let's go out in the water and just fight him. There we go. He didn't have much health anyway, so... Alright, let's get this roof done real quick. don't know that we're going to have enough, actually. I might have... I didn't really account for the overhang here, so... But we do have enough to do the windows, so... Let's get those in real quick. And we might have to do that one from the outside. It's a little high up. Yep. That's the one that we just did. This is the one that needs done. There we go. So those windows are all in. And I think what we'll do is we'll backfill this a little bit with dirt. That way it's not quite as steep of a drop there. And that's all the dirt we have on us. But we can definitely finish this roof now. Just using some of this cobble that we have. That won't be enough. Let's we'll do more than we need. That way we don't end up like last time and not have enough. So knock down some dirt here. We'll use that to scaffold back up. as well. And we'll go right here. And 
and we might do something cool like an awning or I'm sorry not an awning but some sort of thing coming off our bedroom right here like maybe a a porch or something I think that might be kind of neat so we'll see for now it's just a roof and we got a shovel let's use that there we go and we'll use this dirt to fill in these sections here so they're a little bit less annoying for us there we go so there we have it that's gonna be our storage room oh, we're getting shot from behind what are you doing down there that's not very nice just shooting at us from our own cornfield. Alright guys, so that's going to be our nice little storage room off the side there before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to cook some of this, not the cobblestone slabs, but the actual cobblestone. That's not a very nice arrow. And we're going to make some stairs coming up to the front of our house from the farm. So give me a couple seconds to do that, um, and then we'll wrap this episode up. Alright guys, so the last thing we're going to do this episode is make some stair stairs going down to our little farm area. The way I want to do that, I'm cooking cobblestone and turning it back into regular stone, which looks the same as when you just mine it. Now if you place this block and then break it, you'll end up with cobblestone again. So we're going to be pretty careful about that. But if you take and put it in a crafting table and go like this, you'll end up with stone slabs, which are pretty good for stairs and stuff like that. So we'll make quite a few of them because we probably will use them down the road. And that's opposed to if you just put cobblestone in there, you'll get a cobblestone slab with the same pattern. So let's go out here. I think the way we're going to do this is we're going to do something like this. Just make a nice little staircase that's headed up this way. And we'll need to knock out that block. And some of these blocks, actually. And we'll just go like that. getting this nice little staircase and we're just going with a kind of ra random pattern that's what I kind of want here I don't want it to look too like I just want it to be random so go like that that'll be the next layer and I'm sorry I broke my shovel and I was a little bit too lazy to go replace it, so. And then we'll end up at our door here. We might actually just leave that piece like that. We'll have this nice little staircase that goes down here. We'll actually put that like that. It just leads nicely down into our farm area here. So guys, that's kind of going to be it for this episode. Might play around with this staircase a little bit. Make it a little bit fancier, I think. But that's about it. So I'll let you guys go, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.